made a decision to leave the bank back in 1984, one of the things that um, I had to make a, a final decision on, and that was exactly what I would do and how far I would go in the funeral business. Well, having spent about uh, 18 months uh, in the day-to-day -day operations of that funeral business, I learned one thing, and that was it was not going to pay me the same mm -hmm. thing as the bank was going to pay me. So need more set in, and when need more sets in, you find ways uh, to mm -hmm. uh, supplement your income. So I was sitting in the back of my office one day, and I decided that we needed for the North Nashville community a Captain D's restaurant or a Shoney's. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had met Mr. Ray Downer one time in my life, and I called him up on the telephone and asked if I, if I could have an appointment with him. Make a long story short, he came out and picked me up in his Pontiac. Mm -hmm. We drove around the North Nashville area. We looked at two or three sites. We decided that perhaps one would be good for a uh, Captain D's, and that uh, once we got it off the ground, if things worked well, we would look at the Shonis. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how it occurred. And uh, he kept his word over a five-year period of time because we opened up Captain D's in December of 86. And then uh, a little over uh, three and a half years ago, I worked real hard to find a location. And we finally settled on a location about uh, 15 months ago, which is now the Metro Center location of Shoney's. And that's how that came about. Very good. And so now you're involved in both Captain D's and uh, the Shoney's operation. That's correct. You know, so many people uh, uh, think that, uh, and I think you've already indicated that more important than anything is having the idea. And so many people seem to think that uh, you have to have the money up front. Now, certainly money is important. But uh, why don't you walk us through the kind of things that went through your mind uh, for, the, for our viewers, uh, people who might uh, have the same train of thought but never thought in terms of seeing the ultimate goal. And that ultimate goal, undoubtedly, you saw in the very beginning, that is to have a Captain D's and a Shoney's. Why don't you walk us through that over the next few minutes and give us, give our viewers some information, some inside information, if you will, in terms of how that is accomplished. Well, you know, uh, a local jeweler has always said, if you don't know jewels, know your jeweler. Well, my philosophy is if you don't know your bank, know your banker. You have to know your banker. You have to become uh, friends with them, accustomed to them, associate uh, with the individual. You have to know who you can go to. So when I came up with the idea that, that, that the North Nashville community did need a, a Captain D's, uh, I began uh, thinking about how I would finance such a, such a venture. I didn't have enough money to do it all by myself. But what finally came about, I, I found a local banker who knew something about the restaurant business. And then that particular banker turned me over to one of his associates who uh, gave me um, the necessary financing for that particular project. But of course, prior to doing all of that, we had to give them some projections to show them what kind of a return on the investment we would have, what kind of net profits we were going to be looking at, uh, how, what kind of a balance sheet we would possibly have, and what kind of money could be made uh, by um, embarking on, on such a venture. And it was a process that uh, lasted for about three to four months uh, prior to funding. But in, in the process, we had a gentleman's agreement with uh, uh, Shoney's Inc. And um, we uh, began in, again in January of 1986. We opened up in December. So therefore, I had from January until December to get my money together to make sure that uh, everything worked well. And it took a little while, but we did find a banker who was familiar with operating Captain D's mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we did eventually find another banker who was uh, mm -hmm. familiar with operating Shoney's mm -hmm. restaurants. And You've got to know who to go to, and if you don't know who to go to, then you've got to ask them individuals exactly whom you should go to. Mm -hmm. You should never sit out and try to figure out everything all by yourself, mm -hmm. because you can always get help from other individuals. Mm -hmm. If I don't know where to go, the most important thing is to know who to go ask. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that may be an accountant, sometimes that may be a lawyer, sometimes mm -hmm. that may be a banker, sometimes it may be another individual in the same type of business mm -hmm. that you're in. So you have to learn how to share ideas uh, and then to give ideas as well as uh, receive ideas. And so even before the money is laid on the table, uh, you're saying that there has to be quite a bit of hard work, just hard physical projections, uh, ideas in terms of where you might be able to, all of those things are necessary as part of uh, the development. That's correct. It's just not an easy job. You just don't walk into a bank, tell them what, where you need or 
go see a friend and tell them what in the world you need. You've mm -hmm. got to put some time in. You've got to put some labor. You've got to put some thought. Uh, it's, it's a working process, and um, we had a very interesting time putting it together. Mm -hmm. Very good. I think, uh, as we indicated earlier, that Shoney's has uh, a, 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 a commitment to uh, the black community of providing per perhaps $90 million over the next three years. I, th I think that that came out of the SLC, Southern, Leadership, uh, Southern Christian Leadership Conference uh, covenant that they entered into. And I also understand that uh, uh, your activities uh, sort of predated that. But now, uh, would you suggest that uh, that might be a method whereby people who might not have access to uh, a, a friendly banker or a neighborhood banker might be able to somehow use uh, what has been given in terms of uh, becoming involved as you are involved? Well, you know, I have a saying about uh, luck. And my definition of luck is uh, when preparation meets opportunity. Uh, if an individual is prepared, the opportunity is now available for those individuals that are ready to embark upon these type of ventures. Surely, because of the relationship between uh, the SCLC and Shoney's, uh, that there are opportunities for minorities in this community and throughout this country. Even though mine predated that particular agreement, uh, those individuals that are willing and want to be involved with uh, the uh, a Shoney's uh, concept or Captain D's or Lee's chicken concept, this is the time to get involved, to make application, to talk with those individuals, mm -hmm. to uh, lay the groundwork, to go through all of the efforts necessary in order mm -hmm. to have one of those franchises. I think that they are specialized at this particular point, especially when it comes to the actual dollar amount that an individual is required to have in order to establish one of those mm -hmm. ventures whereby it may have cost an individual three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand dollars to get involved mm -hmm. into this particular business at this point that is money that he had to invest himself mm -hmm. that same individual can now get by with a lesser amount of money with the assistance of the corporation that is shown is to um, mm -hmm. establish one of those uh, mm -hmm. uh, franchisees at this time in other words it probably would have been much easier for you in terms